it was a long road for me. Oh my gosh, becoming an Olympian, you know, I started when I was 12 and, and everybody's just like, oh, were you a phenom? You know, do they pick you out of a crowd? And I'm like, no, it was pretty much anything but that. I was terrible at the moguls. And every time we had a competition when I was young, I got my buns kicked. And, you know, I think looking at kids now and how we get our kids into sports now is terrifying to me because by the time they're 12, they're too old. If they're not good enough, they're gone. And what I think we're forgetting are those kids that have that adversity at first that learn to overcome that and then be able to succeed under adversity. So I, I mean, I was terrible at mogul skiing, but I loved it. It was so fun. So I kept going and, you know, I would try different things that, that worked for me, but you know, I, that my, my competitors couldn't do. And I had to work different ways around that and they never had to do that. Mm -hmm. So when it finally, you know, when, when the cream rises to the crop, everybody's this good. Everybody's worked as hard, you know, we're all there, but it's those that have that little bit of grit and that little bit of determination and that willpower to go just that much further. That's what makes champions.